Hello, this is Brenda Gunderson, one of the lecturers for Stats250, bringing you your very first Stats250 Friday focus. This is for the week of March 13th through 20th. Now, yes, I know this is really Saturday, but it's been an interesting last few days as we're getting materials ready for you, and we have this now Friday focus ready today. We also wanted to make sure that you were able to wrap up your learning pieces from this past week, getting that Lab 7 makeup out there for you. So today, I would like to share with you a little bit about how your Stats 250 virtual version is going to run. Here are some of the main pieces. There are going to be lectures. Now these are going to be pre-recorded lecture videos that are going to be available for you every Friday at 8 a.m. And just a little side note, all the times that are on Canvas and that we mentioned in announcements and such are running on the Michigan Time Eastern Daylight Time. These pre-recorded videos are going to follow along in your lecture notes so that you can complete them again, and they're going to be just the content you need for that coming week. The pre-labs, they're going to be pretty much running the same way via Canvas, each Monday at 8 a.m., new pre-lab is due and another one will open. There'll be the R&R &R commander, mostly focusing on the how-to part so that you can do that next type of data analysis. You're gonna to want to complete these before you experience the lab content for that coming week. Now the labs are going to be provided to you in two different online options. We will have a pre-recorded video for the lab content that's going to be available every Friday morning at 8 o'clock. And then we'll also run a set of virtual labs on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. These will be live streamed using the BlueJeans option. You can do one or the other or both. You watch the pre-recorded video, want to go see the actual live stream version that might clarify some things, you can certainly put those together too. Now since we aren't going to be with you in person in labs, we're going to use a different way to replace that lab attendance, lab ticket, and lab eye clicker. We're going to have a lab wrap-up quiz. It's going to be a short set of questions based directly on the material that you will have completed in your lab, from the review by example or that in-lab project or the ticket. And it's going to be provided on Canvas through the Canvas quizzes. It'll be available every Friday morning and due before that next Friday morning. Few little details, you only need to get 75% correct on this very short quiz wrap up, and you'll get three attempts to take those questions. Again, directly coming from the material you would have completed while doing your lab content. The homework will still be on that course.work platform. It'll be an important productive practice for you to do each week. We are now going to have them open still for a week, but do Fridays at eight. Every Friday morning, a new one opens do the following Friday at 8 a.m. The exams. Our two exams are going to stay on the same dates and the same times. They're going to both, of course, be given online. We'll have more details in terms of how that process will work, and we definitely have in mind to provide you a practice online experience first before you have to do it for real. Office hours are going to now be held on Canvas conferences. We have a whole set of hours throughout the whole week. You are welcome to join any that work into your schedule. And you can already go to the office hours page on Canvas to check out some of the information about Canvas conferences. Since your lab GSI will not necessarily be teaching one of those virtual labs that are going to be available each week, we wanted each GSI to connect with you still. And so there'll be a lab check-in time, a block of time for you to be able to just check in with your lab instructor. It'll be offered weekly and it's optional completely. So watch for more information from your own lab instructor for details on that. So let's take a look at a basic timeline for how these virtual STAT 250 weeks will progress. Friday 8 a.m. will be that important Friday focus video that will be posted for you. And then the lecture recordings will be available at that time too. That lab pre-recorded video will be available on the virtual lab resource page. 
and that lab wrap-up quiz will also open up. And then homeworks are also running Fridays starting at 8 a.m. Monday at 8 a.m. you also have that pre-lab that we do. And then X pre-lab will also open up. Tuesdays and Wednesdays during the week will be when we'll offer these virtual labs held with blue jeans. And again, Friday, that homework is due and that lab wrap-up quiz must be done. And then we go back to the top and repeat. Throughout the whole week, we're going to have those online office hours via Canvas conferences and that lab check-in option. The only thing we have added over these next two weeks is, of course, that MWrite Prompt 2 that's open. We extended the draft to be due Sunday night, and then we'll have the peer review week and that revision week, wrapping all of that up well before that exam two comes around. All right, I thought I would do a live picture of the day. So a quick little pause, and I'll be right back. All right, this is Molly. Molly, my dog. So one of the advantages, of course, of working from home is I do get to be with my dog, Molly, a little bit more often. Okay. So now with all these pieces running in our virtual Stats 250 week, you also have some flexibility on the timing. For example, student number one, maybe they decide that Friday they're going to go and watch those set of lectures. Saturday task will be to just get that pre-lab assignment done and on Sunday maybe do some of the homework, trying the recommended and required ones. Monday they're going to watch that pre-recorded lab video to complete their lab material and take that lab wrap-up quiz. And then the rest of the week they can attend an office hour online, do their lab check-in, tweak and finish up that homework. Student number two, maybe they on Sunday just go in and get that pre-lab assignment complete. Monday they decide to open up the homework and just read the questions through. Then watch and work through that lecture content with those videos. Tuesday they decide to attend a virtual live stream lab and complete that lab wrap-up quiz. Wednesday work some more on that homework. At any point during the week join an office hour online or that lab check-in session to ask some questions about that work they're completing. So a little bit of main advice for how to work through this new online Stats 250 virtual experience. We do want you to interact fully with those lecture video recordings before you do the lab and the homework. We recommend completing that weekly lab wrap-up quiz soon after you do the lab, whether it's through that recorded video or attending one of those virtual live stream options. But do it right away because it's coming right from the material you just completed. Maybe take and put those weekly pieces directly into your calendar. Set them up to be recurring so that you have a structure for how you're going to get those different pieces done. Start those pieces earlier in the week because we are relying on technology. That's our main platform for getting these online learning pieces to you and working with you so we know things can happen. Starting early allows to adjust for that as needed. And then communication. Connect with us via the online office hours, the lab check-in, emails, and please read those announcements that we send out on Canvas. So this week, coming ahead, is the paired data analysis, learning all about the differences. There are three lecture recordings for you. The first one is actually the recording of the live lecture from this past Tuesday. The second recording is a recording we made on that little bit of hypothesis testing side for paired data, so it's pretty short. And then we put together a practice on paired versus independent samples. And that's nothing from your exact lecture notes, but it's a nice little practice examples and they're a nice little hint for doing homework seven, questions one and six. So thank you for watching your first Stats 250 Friday Focus. On behalf of the full Stats 250 instructional team, we are excited to continue to work with you to help guide your virtual learning of statistics. Bye.